dry weather patterns for the better part of 2016 led to depressed harvests that saw the price of unga rise to an average of between 150 shillings to 200 shillings per 2 kg packet. A public outcry prompted the government to introduce the maize subsidy program in May last year, reducing maize flour price to 90 shillings per 2 kg packet. This relief, however, lasted for seven and a half months, and consumers are now once again back to the uncertainty of high unga prices. Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Willie Bett says the current move by millers is exploitation. Millers are also becoming businessmen. Of course, they are businessmen, but we don't want them to overstretch their business acumen. According to the CS, millers are accessing maize at below 3,000 per 90 kg bag, which he says should stabilize unga prices at below 115 shillings per 2 kg packet. Two million bags of maize have already been purchased via NCPB, which is one million more than those purchased last year. The available maize now is enough for us to consume as we will advise and take other steps when the time comes. Bet has ruled out claims that unga prices will hit the 200 shillings mark for 2 kgs, saying the ministry has already held discussions with the millers to maintain low prices. So what we are telling our consumers is, with the current situation, they should never buy a 2 kilogram packet at anything more than 115. As government, we are monitoring the situation. This, even as the hopes for cheaper maize flour from Galana as earlier planned dwindle until the second phase of the project is implemented. We have proven the concept and we will be able to uh, produce here. And out of that production and uh, by dealing with the shortage, the prices of Unga would come down. So that we want to assure. The uncertainty on Unga prices is not going to end anytime soon and Kenyans might have to wait until the long rains season for maize prices to stabilize. Ruth Mutegi for Channel 1 at the Galana Irrigation Scheme.